While matters relating to the cost of fuel have become topical, a 19-year-old boy of Chipata's East West compound has developed a formula to produce fuel from plastic waste. Joey Tumambazi, who recently completed his secondary education at Anoya Zulu Boys Secondary School, says he developed this idea in 2020. While at Anoya, Joey was a member of the Junior Engineers, Technicians and Scientists, Jates. Joey explains the whole process of making fuel to Chipata City Mayor George Mwanza and his delegation during the tour of his premises to have an on-the-spot check of what he does. Then when uh, we have seen that the power that stopped, uh, the gas has stopped coming out from here, from here, we usually put another firewood, which means there's a need now for the increasing of temperatures. After that now, we usually, when we have fed like up to 700, up to 70 degrees Celsius, that is for the correction of petrol. We usually, there's now for the need for extracting diesel. You also appealed for support from well wishers. Uh, actually, I studied it alone. It was just like a dream. So, like as for how much I've invested into this dream, it is almost about uh, uh, 5,000. I usually used to do a small business selling onion and uh, that stopped because that was not my dream. I studied all my dreams. Making petrol, recycling, and the, recycling the plastics. That is what uh, I think. Mr. Manza also spoke to this reporter after touring Joet's working place. And uh, if a solution like this will take out garbage, but also producing other products that are essential on daily um, survivability of humanity and running the economy, it's uh, an interesting issue for us. And that's the reason why uh, we physically took. Uh, a trip to come here and the members of the community have confirmed that uh, we're always here and uh, trying to improve it. If such innovations can be nurtured and developed, it can bring about a lasting solution to the fuel issue. Christopher Miti, ZNBC News, Chipata.